America's longest serving wrongfully convicted man was back in court today. Glenn Simmons fighting for his innocence after serving 48 years for a murder he did not commit. It's a story we've been covering in depth for 20 years. And tonight, once again, News 4's Allie Meyer was in the courtroom with Glenn Simmons as the judge after made a ruling. After nearly 50 years of defeats, this year, in this courthouse, Glenn Simmons and his legal team finally won. And today, they asked a judge for a finding of actual innocence to declare that Glenn Simmons did not commit the Edmund Liquor Store murder of 1974. On the night of the liquor store murder, Glenn Simmons wasn't even in the state of Oklahoma. He and a co-defendant were railroaded into a death penalty conviction in an unfair trial where the only evidence against them was the testimony of a traumatized teenager who'd been shot in the back of the head, who'd picked out several other black men in a previous police lineup. 48 years, Glenn Simmons has declared his innocence. 20 years, News 4 has been questioning his conviction. Last year, Simmons attorney Joe Norwood asked the court to take another look. He had 50 years stolen from him, the prime of his work life, when he could have been getting experiences, um, developing skills that was taken from him uh, by no fault of his own. In April, the district attorney admitted Simmons' trial was unfair. In July, the judge tossed out Glenn Simmons' murder conviction. How are you feeling, Glenn? I'm blessed. And today, Simmons is asking that same court for a declaration of innocence. This court has considered the evidence presented to it and defended Glenn Simmons. From the bench, Judge Amy Palumbo read her order aloud. The court finds by clear convincing evidence that the offense for which Mr. Simmons was convic convicted, sentenced, and imprisoned in this case at hand, including any lesser included offense, was not committed by Mr. Glenn Simmons. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And Glenn Simmons walked out with a legal distinction few ever receive, actually innocent. Yeah, this is the day we've been waiting on him for a long, long time. It finally came and uh, we can say justice was done today, yes. finally. Uh, and I'm happy. If there is any compensation coming to Glenn, it's in the future. Right now, he's still living off of the generosity of other people. What's been done can't be undone, but there can be accountability, you know, and that's what I'm about right now, accountability. A finding of actual innocence is essential for Glenn Simmons to sue. For the 48 years, five months, 18 days he spent behind bars for a murder he did not commit. As Allie Meyer reporting, if Glenn Simmons wins a wrongful conviction lawsuit against the agencies involved in his arrest, trial and imprisonment, Oklahoma state law limits his compensation to $175,000. That's $3,600 for every year he was wrongfully incarcerated. We've put a link to Simmons' GoFundMe on KFOR.com.